Sinister back here with some information on the map Silo and Game of Domination. I've always struggled with this map and understanding which direction the enemy was coming from. Part of the problem was I was, in my mind, I was dividing the map into two halves. The our half and the enemy's half. The reality is the map Silo is divided into quadrants. Now Treyarch says this is the biggest map and perhaps this is one of the reasons they use the quadrant system. Not only is it a north and south separation, but there's also an east and west separation when it comes to spawning. Before we continue, let me show you up close some of the additional spawn points. The Spetsnaz side, additional spawns include the bunker and in the mixers at Red Ring. Here we go, let's fly in and look into the bunker at, the, at a Spetsnaz spawning. And as we fly out here, we'll be able to see another Spetsnaz spawning at the red ring there, right next to the mixers. And on the Black Ops side, you can see in the lower left hand corner of your screen, the 1-2 spawning at the Pac-Man building behind it in the corner. Now here's where it gets interesting. Now we'll see a spawn flip here, or a spawn movement. Now red is spawning here at the Pac-Man building, even though green is still on the southern end of the map. Now there's one Spetsnaz south of the map, but primarily the green still holds the south while the red you'll see is mostly to the north of the map. Yet red still spawns. Now if you think about it in halves, you'll be confused. If you think about it in quadrants, now green has pushed up to the top half of your screen, or the left side of the map as they are facing, and red is pushed to the bottom half of your screen now, near the Pac-Man building. There. Because green has moved to the top half of the map on your screen, now the red team is spawning at Pac-Man building. Unfortunately for them, in their excitement at their fortunate spawn, they push past that central line and once again move the spawn to the Pac-Man building. Let's watch that one more time, a little bit slower. Spawn at Pac-Man, push up, even though they're on that left-hand side of your screen, they cross that central line, there's the green spawn movement. Now a friend of mine earned the carpet bomb perk in this map. We'll just call him BJ. Now I think he did quite well. However, after reviewing the film, I noticed that most of the bombs struck the rooftops instead of open areas of the map. I believe he laid the bombs down centrally, just down the midline of the map. A strategy you might want to consider is laying a carpet bomb into the more open areas diagonally across the map. As we fly to an overhead view, another overhead view, we can see that in this case even the enemy is lined up diagonally into the open areas. Instead of centrally, think more along the lines of the diagonal open areas as indicated by the blue and red line here. Once again, I hope you've learned something from this short video. See you in Xbox Live.